A new discovery may hold the answer to one of humanity's greatest questions. Are we alone in the universe? The mystery deepens as scientists struggle to explain the stunning revelations captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. These groundbreaking images of Neptune's enigmatic moon, Triton, could forever change how we see our place in the cosmos. But what if the truth is something that even NASA isn't ready to share? The first thing you might notice, if you look at the JWST view, is the unusual color of Neptune. Quite famously, Neptune is a deep blue-colored planet, in contrast to Uranus's paler blue color. But seen here, Neptune looks almost white, with bright white spots on parts of its surface and edges, and then with a much less saturated color over most of the rest of its surface. Beyond Neptune's surface itself, there are a series of rings surrounding it, appearing similar to, but much less magnificent, than Saturn's famous rings. Along the rings and also nearby, you can see a series of white light points. Many of these are additional moons of Neptune. In total, six Neptunian moons can be identified among those points. To the lower right of Neptune, a background star from within the Milky Way appears. You can see from our perspective how close Neptune is to it. It's as though it's just missed having an occultation, a rare event when a planet blocks the light from a background star. And most spectacularly, to the upper left of Neptune, a brilliant blue eight-pronged spike appears, Neptune's giant moon, Triton. Let's take a look at all of these in depth, plus more. To see what JWST's unique view reveals to us, first, check out Triton's spectacular spikes. This is one of those truly brilliant demonstrations of what JWST is all about. Triton is no ordinary moon. Its surface is a frozen wonderland, blanketed by nitrogen ice that reflects sunlight so brilliantly it's among the brightest objects in our solar system. But beneath its icy facade lies a world teeming with questions. Recent images from the James Webb Space Telescope reveal glowing patterns that defy explanation. Could these strange signals hint at something extraordinary hidden beneath the surface? Triton's surface isn't just visually striking, it's a clue to its dynamic nature. Despite its frozen exterior, scientists believe that Neptune's immense gravity keeps Triton geologically active. This process, known as tidal heating, could sustain a subsurface ocean under miles of ice, an environment that might just support life. Imagine an ocean warmed by geothermal energy, teeming with microbial life, hidden in the coldest reaches of the solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope is humanity's most advanced tool for uncovering the secrets of distant worlds. Equipped with instruments like the near-infrared camera, Enigarcam, and the mid-infrared instrument, MARI, Webb can peer through ACE and atmosphere, detecting heat signatures and trace gases. It can map Triton's surface temperature and reveal anomalies like potential cryovolcanoes, where geothermal heat might be escaping from below. These icy volcanoes, if confirmed, could be evidence of a dynamic interior, a tantalizing prospect for astrobiologists searching for signs of life. Triton's thin atmosphere, composed mostly of nitrogen with traces of methane, is another puzzle. Methane is particularly intriguing because it could be a sign of geological or even biological processes by studying these gases, Webb is helping scientists piece together to Triton's story, one that might reveal the conditions necessary for life beyond Earth. Adding to the mystery is Triton's origin. Many scientists believe it was once a Kuiper Belt object, similar to Pluto, captured by Neptune's gravity billions of years ago. If true, Triton is not just a moon, it's a relic of the early solar system, holding clues about its formation and evolution. Despite the incredible insights provided by the Webb telescope, challenges remain. At over 2 billion miles from Earth, observing Triton in high detail requires long exposure times and advanced technology. Yet, these observations are paving the way for future missions. Imagine a lander drilling into Triton's icy crust, searching for signs of water, organic molecules, or even microbial life. Such a mission could revolutionize our understanding of life's potential in the universe. Sometimes, astronomy is like a forensic investigation. We can't just rerun the past, so we have to study clues to figure out what happened. And the outer solar system contains one striking crime scene holding a big mystery. How the environment around Neptune got a moon like Triton. Neptune has 14 known moons. With the exception of Triton, all of Neptune's moons are very small, and they come in two general flavors, regular and irregular. The regular ones orbit close to the planet, and the irregular ones are generally farther from Neptune, with all sorts of crazy orbits. And then there's Triton. 
It was discovered by English merchant and amateur astronomer William Lassell, who, in 1846, spotted the moon a mere 17 days after the discovery of Neptune itself. But it wasn't until August 25, 1989, that we got our first close-up look at Triton, when the Voyager 2 probe flew by on the last leg of its historic grand tour of the outer solar system. Although Voyager 2 mapped only 40% of Triton's surface, the mission revealed just how strange the Neptunian moon is. Triton is not alone in its potential for harboring life. Europa and Enceladus, moons of Jupiter and Saturn, also have subsurface oceans. By studying these icy worlds, we're piecing together the conditions that make life possible in the harshest environments. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just a tool for observation, it's a time machine, helping us unlock the mysteries of our solar system's past and its potential for life. Triton, with its glowing patterns, dynamic interior, and hidden oceans, stands as a beacon of possibility in the search for extraterrestrial life. Each discovery Webb makes takes us one step closer to answering the ultimate question. Are we truly alone in the universe? Triton's secrets are just beginning to unfold, and with every new revelation, the universe feels a little closer. As humanity reaches further into the cosmos, we are reminded of our insatiable curiosity and the endless wonders waiting to be discovered. For one, Triton is big. It's the seventh largest moon in the solar system, and it's over 200 times bigger than all of the other moons of Neptune combined, which makes it really stick out. Second, Triton is one of the irregular moons. It orbits backward relative to Neptune's spin, and its orbit is inclined at a stunning 67 degrees, almost perpendicular to its parent planet. Despite its irregularity, Triton's orbit is surprisingly circular. In fact, one of the most perfectly circular orbits out of all the objects in the solar system. As for the surface, it looks like a cantaloupe. A large chunk of Triton's mid-latitudes is covered in bumpy, wrinkly features nicknamed, appropriately enough, cantaloupe terrain. Another large section features broad, featureless plains dotted with massive calderas, while the southern portion is dominated by a vast nitrogen ice cap dotted with dozens of cryovolcanoes, volcanoes that spew jets of water. So, we've gathered the facts of the crime scene investigation. This a moon of Neptune is way bigger than it should be, has a completely wonky orbit, formed in a non-traditional way, and has a young, dynamic, and active surface. What's the story behind these oddities? The best answer is that Triton is no mere moon, but instead a victim of an interplanetary kidnapping. Perhaps it is really a Kuiper Belt object more akin to Pluto or Eris than to the other moons of the solar system. Perhaps long ago, Triton fell into the vicinity of Neptune, got captured by the planet's gravity, and was forced to spend the remaining billions of years in orbit in its unwelcome home. Either Triton just got unlucky and had the exact wrong orbit to land itself near Neptune, or it suffered some fateful collision with one of Neptune's original moons and, in the process, lost enough energy to remain in orbit. Another possibility is that Triton originally formed as a small binary system, much like many other Kuiper Belt objects, and a close encounter with Neptune sent Triton's twin flying away and left Triton itself trapped. The capturing of Triton explains its strange orbit. If it didn't form organically in the Neptunian system, it would have no reason to share the orbital plane with the regular moons. And if it was captured early enough, it would have had to swim through the debris surrounding the still-forming Neptune, which would be enough to shape its orbit into a nearly perfect circle. Triton remains warm because, like other Kuiper Belt objects, it has enough radioactive elements to release heat. That heat turns water, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen ices into slush, keeping the surface young and active, much like Pluto has a giant, slushy, nitrogen ice glacier field. Indeed, Triton may be so warm that it sports a liquid water ocean underneath its crust. Webb's near-infrared camera, an IR cam, images objects in the near-infrared range from 0.6 to 5 microns so Neptune does not appear blue to Webb. In fact, the methane gas so strongly absorbs red and infrared light that the planet is quite dark at these near-infrared wavelengths, except where high-altitude clouds are present. Such methane ice clouds are prominent as bright streaks and spots, which reflect to sunlight before it is absorbed by methane gas. Images from other observatories, including the Hubble Space Telescope, and the W.M. Keck Observatory have recorded these rapidly evolving cloud features over the years. It's been over a generation since our last brief encounter with Triton. Those images captured by Voyager 2 are the only ones we have. Unfortunately, no mission concepts to return to the Neptunian system have advanced past the proposal stage within NASA's funding structure. 
given the agency's interest in the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, which to be fair, also are homes to vast oceans of liquid water and are far, far closer than Neptune. There will likely be no follow-up mission in our lifetimes. The excitement surrounding Webb's mission is palpable. Its ability to detect trace gases like methane and carbon monoxide could indicate ongoing geological or biological processes. These discoveries could revolutionize our understanding of icy moons and their place in the solar system. Challenges remain, such as the vast distances from Earth and the faint light reflected from icy surfaces, but the insights Webb provides are invaluable. Future missions, including orbiters and landers, will build on Webb's findings to study these moons in even greater detail. Triton, with its shimmering nitrogen ice surface and possible hidden oceans, exemplifies the promise of unexplored worlds. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just a tool but a guiding light, opening doors to a new era of discovery. Each observation brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the outer solar system connecting icy moons, planets, and even the distant Kuiper Belt in ways we never imagined. As we continue to explore, the potential for groundbreaking discoveries inspires us to dream even bigger.